exactly where I stand. Kyrie with a strong stance there. Kendrick Perkins joining us. Black Kings built the league. Facts. And Jerry West, guys, I want to mention, he's been the logo since 69. He's been asked about this in the past, and and he's for the idea of it potentially changing as well. So he, he has greenlit that. Um, I'll start with you, Stephen A. Do you think Kobe well, Bryant my, should be the NBA logo? Hold on. What, what, my, what you, go ahead, Jerry. Go ahead, Kendrick. What'd you say? Yep. I, my, <laughs> What's going on? I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what's going on today. Stephen, are you trying to make a fashion statement? Oh, my bad, my look, bad. Look, look, my earpiece look, fell yeah, out. Dressed, dressed up like a pilgrim. <laughs> like you a are pilgrim. auditioning for a Thanksgiving yeah. play at the local what, 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 I, I, Well, well listen, I'm, oh, my goodness. I, I'm not, I didn't I'm not even not auditioning. think pilgrim. Where's I'm not the auditioning. But, but since you brought it up, I am in Hollywood. I mean, I, 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 do, I do like the look. And oh, by the way, Molly and Max, I will be spending most of next week on the set of General Hospital. Brick has been summoned <laughs> okay. to Port Charles. So now, I just wanted to make oh, sure. Good. I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that. When's Brick going to have a love scene or actually yeah. murk somebody? Because that's when I'll tune in. We got we got to make those, when, when, we gotta make Brick, those Brick, happen. What, Brick, Brick in a love scene? I'm a mobster. I'm a mobster. But I mean, I, but, 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 oh, but, I didn't know mobsters don't need yeah, love. Well, but mobsters, mobsters, I didn't know need, that. mobsters, mobsters lead, need love too. I got to speak. I got to speak to executive producer Frank exactly. Valentini. I mean, I wouldn't mind doing the love scene. It would, it would, it would, it would, it would, it would be nice. But anyway, anyway, let, let, let's move on. Let's move on. Here's the deal. Um, Oh. I really respect I really respect where Kyrie's coming from. Uh, like so many others, he clearly has a lot of love for Kobe Bryant. They had a personal relationship. Kobe loved him dearly as well. Um, I get where he's coming from. Um, I, and I definitely think I wouldn't have a problem with Kobe Bryant being the logo. Please don't get me wrong. Um, but when we talk about him being the number one choice, I got to admit, for years I've been on this tip. And I'm not about to change now, even with the unfortunate passing of my, of my friend Kobe Bryant. I'm I'm just of the mindset that that silhouette should be Michael Jordan. I've always felt that way. Uh, Jerry West and I have spoken about this. Obviously, he has no problem with the silhouette being changed. He never asked to be the silhouette to begin with. In fairness to him, um, we all know that he was a great he was he was a great player and a champion uh, as well. Uh, but Michael Jordan is Michael Jordan, and I think that when we talk about Kobe in comparisons to Michael Jordan, think about the conversation that we have about LeBron James. There is a debate as to whether or not LeBron James is the GOAT or MJ is the GOAT. The reason why Kobe Bryant's name was never in the equation was because of MJ. If, if it was not for MJ, we would have been saying LeBron or Kobe. You know, so we know how great Kobe was and there's no questioning that and what have you. It's just that Kobe Bryant playing the same position whose game essentially mimicked that of Michael Jordan, even though I could argue he was a better shooter than MJ. In the end, when I think about what MJ accomplished, six trips to the NBA Finals, six NBA Finals MVP, 6-0 and in the NBA Finals, undefeated throughout the 80s when he played a full season. Uh, the man was, abs I'm sorry, the 90s. Uh, the man was absolutely phenomenal. And then when you consider what he took from Magic and Bird in terms of elevating the NBA brand into a global brand and what he's meant, how he's already the silhouette for Nike and what have you. I, I just think that when you look at Michael Jordan, there's not a name in the modern era that I could put ahead of him. That's my only issue. Well, I've, Kobe I've would always, be number two on that list. MJ would be number one. I've always felt the exact same way about Jordan. It should be the Jumpman logo. The thing is, Nike owns the Jumpman logo. So how does that work, right? Don't so, use that so, logo. So There's another uh, use another, but use. that's the iconic logo. You right. think of that logo when you like that's the Jordan brand, right? Um, yes. I'll say I'll say this: um, when Kyrie says Black Kings built the league, he's not wrong. Although you got to throw in Larry Bird, Black Kings and Larry Bird <laughs> built <Yes>. the league. <laughs> Larry Bird was bad. I agree. I agree. Bad brother. Anyway, the point is that I get the point. Like you, it, that, that the silhouette in a largely African American league that was built largely by African-American players to the position it is now, and is, is, is obviously the most popular game in urban areas, why is it that a white guy is the silhouette? And Jerry West was a bad dude. He was the Kobe Bryant of his day. I mean, he was, averaged 30 points every year and was Mr. Clutch and was in the finals all the time, even if they weren't always winning it. Won an MVP on the losing team in the finals once because he was so gangster, Jerry West. The greatest executive ever, I get it. But I understand that sentiment. Wait a minute. Can we have at least the silhouette of an African-American player? And, and Jordan would be my first choice. 
I think I understand the sentiment for Kobe, especially from Kyrie, because Kobe was a mentor to Kyrie Irving. So Kyrie is standing up for his guy, but I do feel, as you do, Stephen A., that the admirable thing about Kobe was he looked at Jordan. The whole world wanted to be like Mike, but who would dare actually try? Kobe's like, I'm the same size as this dude, play the same position as this dude. I'm going to do him, but one better, number 24. I'll do him, but one better. He didn't quite get there, but he basically did. He basically was the next Michael Jordan. And, and was loved by a generation the way Jordan's generation loved him on the court. And uh, so I understand Kyrie's sentiment. Well, I'm going to say this, okay? The logo, the NBA logo is a symbol, okay? It's a damn representation. Kobe Bryant breathed, ate, and slept the game of basketball. It's no better representation than the Kobe Bryant logo. Mamba mentality. Think about it. Having that logo on these players' jerseys, socks, every night is a reminder of what they have to go out there and do every single night and leave it on the court because tomorrow is not promised. Kobe Bryant was, is a, was an icon. Kobe Bryant set the tone. Kobe Bryant opened the doors for so many others. He was a mentor, and his life after basketball was starting to be better than probably his career on the court, and that's saying a lot. No former, no current player would object to Kobe Bryant being the logo, including Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan spoke at Kobe Bryant's funeral, and he said, when Kobe died, a piece of me died as well, right? So what I'm saying is, I'm with Kyrie on this. Let's honor this man. He deserved it. Put this, put Kobe as the logo, and no one would have no complaints whatsoever. Mamba mentality. Well, let me be very clear. I'm not trying to imply that anybody would have a complaint. Not, not anybody on this set right now. Certainly no one in the NBA community would complain if the NBA elected to go that route. So that's not the subject at hand because none of us would sit up there and, and summarily dismiss or frown upon Kobe being the logo. But when you think about what MJ has meant to the sport spanning decades and that the NBA ultimately became what it became because of Magic Bird and ultimately MJ. Now, we can't dismiss Bill Russell and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar and their contributions to the game. We can never forget that. Rules will change, crying for crying out loud, because of Wilt Chamberlain, and we understand that. And we respect Elgin Baylor, and we respect the Jerry Wests of the world, the Oscar Robinsons. There's a lot of great iconic figures that have come associated with the game of basketball. But in terms of making the NBA the global brand that it is, Kobe would have never been Kobe, meaning the global iconic brand that he is, if it wasn't for what Magic and Bird initiated and MJ ultimately took to another level. So I agree where you're coming from, KP, and I understand that you're not, I'm not trying to say that you're wrong by any stretch of the imagination, and you're absolutely right. Michael Jordan would have no problem whatsoever, because like Jerry West, he's never asked to be the silhouette or anything like that, and he certainly wouldn't have any problem with Kobe being honored in such a way. I'm just saying, when we look at, at, at their contributions to the game of basketball, as phenomenally great as Kobe Bryant was, he wasn't MJ. And that's the difference. And that's why I say I would go with MJ as the silhouette. And, and listen, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. Like I always said, before M MJ got to the league, it was the circus. And I mean that in a good way. Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, Bill Russell, Larry, Larry Bird. Michael Jordan came and it became Disneyland and Disney World, the magical rise and things to that nature. But the reason that I, one of the reasons that I give the slight edge to the late great Kobe Bryant is because of the tragedy that happened. And I feel like this would be a great way for us all to honor him and remember him on a night to night, day to day basis with his logo on the jersey and on the socks and a friendly reminder to go out there and, and leave it all out on the court. Because again, tomorrow is not promised. It's not promised in the NBA, and it's not promised in life. So that's why I said Kobe Bryant. If he was still living, maybe we could have, I could have a whole nother argument. But because what happened to my great brother, 
and what he meant to the game and so many others. This is why I'm giving him the slight edge. On the one hand, on the one hand, um, Stephen A., I know what you mean. It seems silly that the logo for the NBA would be anyone other than Michael Jordan. On the other hand, for years it's been Jerry West, and at no time were people saying Jerry West is the greatest player of all time. Like, for whatever reason, the, NBA, the tradition of the logo of the NBA was not chosen based on here is the greatest we've ever seen. He wasn't even the biggest championship winner. He won championships, but like lost more than he won because of those great Celtics teams. Um, he was a dynamic, all-time great um, in, a, in a big market, playing on a great team. But it, it was always a little curious to me that he was the logo. And well, so I think the precedent has been set that the logo doesn't have to be the Michael Jordan guy. That can be someone else. That's totally fair, but I think that Kendrick Perkins' argument is far more profound from the standpoint that we lost Kobe. He's gone. And if you're talking about somebody, even though I don't, I, it, he will never be forgotten, never. Uh, but when you talk about him being the silhouette and you're taking into account the fact that, uh, you know, the fatal helicopter crash took his life and that of his wonderful daughter and seven yeah. others. When you take that into consideration and you talk about remembering him in that regard, I think that's the most profound argument that could be made. If he were alive, we would be having a different subject that leans more to my point about MJ. But the fact that he is gone, I hear exactly where Big Perk is coming from on that. Yeah, and of course that Mamba mentality. It sounds like we're all in agreement that if not Kobe, it, it, it should be MJ and that there should potentially be a change. All right, Kendrick, before we let you go, any parting shots before Stephen A. heads to Thanksgiving dinner? Oh, <laughs> oh no, nah. I'm going to get him later. I'm going to get him later on Stephen A.'s world. Yeah, okay. I'm going to get him later. Oh, but he might I, switch I, it up. I, 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 I don't know if hey, I can handle so, so, being so, on Stephen so A.'s world. Thing. I already live so, in Stephen so A.'s Molly, world, 24-7, 365. Molly brings up Thanksgiving now. But at the top of the show, she was talking about how fly I was looking. I sense inconsistencies there, but that's all right. Excuse it's me. Okay. No, all right. first of all, all right. hold up. Okay. I said right. you look great. I said you look